No, I didn't get nobody <laughs> pregnant. But, um, <clears throat> you always be saying how I'll never call you uh -huh. and stuff. It's a reason for that. Wow. It's a reason why I just be always, you know what I'm saying, distance myself. Because yeah. I feel like if you knew more stuff about me, then I think we could be closer as friends. Mm -hmm. Since I was like uh, 16, I have been bisexual. Mm -hmm. And I just, this is why, you know what I'm saying, I brought you here actually. I had told you what I did, and that was the honest to God truth uh -huh. about me and Helena. That was the truth. I just didn't tell you everything. I just didn't tell you that I never stopped. Exactly, because so, you told me you stopped. Right, but I just didn't tell you I never stopped. I'm, you know, I'm still attracted to girls. I still date girls, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know about Tanya. She, she don't know, but it's harder for me to tell her than it is for me to tell you. Why do you hide it? Why? Why? Yeah, because because I mean, people I mean, gonna treat me different. I mean, no, let me tell you something. Robin, I have been dealing with this since I was like 16 years old, going back and forth with whether I'm just gonna tell people about what I'm gonna, what I do, or I'm just not gonna say nothing about it at all. You lose out on certain type of job opportunities for niggas knowing that you, I'm already black, Robin. We already black, that's one strike against us, baby, okay? I'm serious. It don't matter, yes it does, yes it does. Because if people start finding out about what I do, it's gonna be talked about and talked about. But as long as I ain't never confirmed nothing with them, they're going to always treat me like the same old Kerwin. I, I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you know, I knew it. Because of what you told me on the porch, I knew it. I'm glad that I got this off my chest with you, though. Nah, I didn't... you should have been telling me that. I know, but... I mean, that's not going to change the way I feel. That's not going to change nothing. It's not. You're still my nigga, for okay. real. You are. You well. are. <laughs> Thank you, you my boo -boo. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I don't get fucked in the butt. Just so you know. Uh, no, and said, I'm serious. I am serious. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. No, I'm just telling you because, I mean, we cool. I don't care because you be looking like, no, nah, because I, I don't want you to be thinking like, well, what does this nigga really be doing with these? You know, no, nah, uh-uh, because it ain't like that. It's been about a year since I've been tested. But then I was just released from prison. You know, they always test you going in, but they never test you coming out. Hello, how are you? Great. I'm Mr. Farmer. I'm here to uh, do what you ask. Come okay. with me, please. How are you feeling today? Oh, it's kind of jittery, but I'm all right. Oh, well, yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> Within the last year, oh. Have you ever used a condom or had vaginal sex with a condom? No. Okay. All right. Have you ever had vaginal sex? Yes. Okay. Yes. For the last year, was a condom used if you participated in anal sex with you being the receiver? Yes. And within the last year, if you were the top in an anal sex uh, behavior, would you say you use the condom always, sometimes, never, you're not sure? Sometimes. Sometimes. The way it works, as I stated earlier, is you're going to insert this in your mouth between your cheek and gums, and then you'll hold it in there for a good 23, 30 seconds. I said to myself, um, this could be the beginning of the rest of my life, or it can be the end of the rest of my life. Break it off. This goes there.
Where y'all go? Down to the club for a minute. Where? Uh, Deco's. Oh, okay. Y'all be good, guys. George had girlfriends. I believe that before he hooked up with Tony, that he was into the girl thing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I got something for you. Yeah. Wow. Take them with you. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes, just in case you never know. You know, like I said, I don't know how they met, okay. under what circumstances, but he fell hell over head over heels for Tony. Okay, see y'all. All right. <laughs> he, he is so in love. Sometimes I just have to shake my head. He just a baby. Tony is kind of seasoned. Tony is a, <laughs> he can be a mess. <laughs> he can be a mess. He's 18, he'll be 19 and on the 16th. So, <laughs> it's, it was hard, because he's just now, you know, just coming out of high school. A lot of people keep that concealed going through high school, so they don't go through the bullying and, you know, the bashings and the verbal. So, since he's, you know, he's been out of high school, I met him when he was just coming out of high school. And um, he's opened up a lot. He do have a, um, a female friend. Um, she doesn't really know about him. And I guess she really wouldn't because she's a, she's a virgin. I can walk around in public, me and my best friend, who I may say is my best friend, but who now actually is my lover. We can go out and go to bars, go kick it with girls or flirt with girls, and they'll never know. You know so now it's kind of like more, it's a little exciting. I find excitement in it now. I don't want to lose you, though. You're not going to lose me. <laughs> Apply to FIT, too, then. For what? What am I going to major in? Major in anything. Graphic design. And what do you like to do, George? Dance. You can major in dance. FIT? Mm -hmm. Are you, you, you kind of tired of the long-distance relationship? I've never been in a long-distance relationship. <laughs> That's one song we wouldn't listen to. Why did the Bendy Club stand in here? Why did the Bendy Club? Oh, I know that. Why did he bring you here? He's 